Welcome back. In our last video, we had a look at parameter dialogues from different KNX devices included in our project. Through parameter changes on these devices, I can define their behavior and, in many cases, which objects they make available for linking. Today, we want to create some groups. These groups are what is finally communicated over the KNX bus, and each can fulfill a different purpose when linked to objects. We can expect to have a few hundred groups in the end. Also, for maintenance and handover, it is recommended to properly structure and name the groups right from the start. We will cover one way of structuring groups. Which groups you need and how they are structured depends on your project and is your responsibility as KNX partner. The KNX National Groups provide useful tips on this. To check them out, follow the link in the description. Now once again we are in the first tab, the Buildings panel. Today let's open a second tab in this project for the Groups panel. Through the toolbar we create some main groups, Central, Basement, Ground Floor, First Floor, Attic, and Outside. And then we add some middle groups in each, such as light, shutters, heating, alarm, and general. Now let's copy-paste this to all our groups. Let's fast-forward that part. Feel free to pause if needed. And finally, we add the actual groups in each, here for light, on-off, dim step, dim value, feedback on-off, and feedback value. Easy and fast. We will do the rest off camera. See you next time when we tweak our structure a bit. As always, find the link to the exported project in the description below and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for upcoming videos.